Hello everyone, this paper aims to solve the challenge of anomaly detection in civilian videos. Recent work released the first virtual dataset to assist real-world detection. However, anomaly gap exists because the anomalies are bounded in the virtual dataset but unbounded in the real world, so it reduces the generalization ability. There also exists a thin gap between virtual and real scenarios, including thin specific anomalies, which means events that are abnormal in one thing but normal in another, and thin specific attributes such as the viewpoint of the civilian camera. In this paper, we aim to solve the problem of anomaly gap and thin gap by proposing a problem based feature mapping framework. The framework contains a mapping network guided by an anomaly prompt to generate unseen anomalies with unbounded types in the real scenario. It also contains a mapping adaptation branch to narrow the thin gap by applying domain classifier and anomaly classifier. Extensive experiments show the effectiveness of our framework design. Here I describe the background and motivation. Video anomaly detection aims to detect the abnormal behaviors in video. One of the recent advancements in video anomaly detection is the use of virtual data sets to achieve bullet supervised training. However, this approach comes with its own set of challenges. A anomaly gap exists between the virtual and real scenarios because anomalies in virtual data sets are bounded, whereas in the real scenario, anomalies are often unbounded and unpredictable. This makes it difficult to generalize anomaly detection models from virtual data set to the real world scenario. Another challenge for virtual data set is the thin gap. This refers to thin specific anomalies, which are events that may be considered abnormal in one thing but normal in another. For instance, a person running a park may be a normal behavior, but the same behavior in a shopping mall may be considered abnormal. Additionally, thin specific attributes such as the viewpoint of the civilian camera can also affect the model performance. To overcome these challenges, we aim to explore new approaches to solve these gaps by better applying the virtual data site. Moving forward, I would like to share with you the contribution in this work. Firstly, a novel problem based feature mapping framework work has been proposed to address the challenge of applying virtual VD data set with limited anomalies to the real scenario. This framework generates unseen anomalies when with unbounded types of anomalies. Furthermore, a, prom a mapping adaptation branch has been proposed to ensure the an anomalies generated by feature mapping framework are seen specific and solve, solve the problem of seen specific attributes. To validate the effectiveness of the proposed framework, extensive experiments were conducted on three public VD datasets, Shanghai Tech, Avenue, and UCF Crime. The results show that the proposed framework performed the best compared with the state-of-the-art approaches. Here are the overall framework. The framework totally contains three inputs. The normal and uh, abnormal instance from virtual data set, and the normal instance from the real data set. Firstly, a feature extractor is used to extract the features for each instance. Then, a mapping network is used to map the normal instance to abnormal one. Because we know the abnormal distribution in virtual domain, so the mapping network can be well trained by minimize the generated virtual anomalies and the true virtual anomalies. Because the abnormal instance in the virtual domain contains certain type of anomalies, so we need to control the mapping direction to this type of anomaly. This can be done by the anomaly pump, which contains the information of the true anomalies. We also use the mapping adaptation branch to make the generated feature thin specific and solve the problem of thin specific attributes. For the generation of anomaly pump, we consider to generate the hint from true anomaly features in virtual domain. However, we cannot directly use these features as pump because it is a mapping target. So we use a global average pooling 
to compress the information. We call this compressed information as a normally vector. However, in the real domain, we do not have a normally vector. So we train a variational autoencoder in virtual domain and generate the normally vector from latent space in real domain. The variational autoencoder can generate unbounded type of anomaly vector, so the divergent mapping in real domain can be achieved. In addition, in order to make the anomaly pump independent to input scene, we use a ResNet pre-trained in places data set to extract the features of scene image. The concatenation of anomaly vector and scene vector is uh, Anomaly pump. For the mapping adaptation, the domain classifier and the anomaly classifier are used. Therefore, the anomaly classifier can de deviate mapped features from normal features in the same scenes to make the generated features to be scene specific. The domain classifier will extract the common feature of different domain and ignore the different features such as the viewpoint of the camera. We evaluate the model performance in three benchmark data site, Shanghai Tech Avenue and uh, UCF Crime. We follow the official setting of Shanghai Tech and uh, Avenue. For UCF Crime, we use the uh, human related anomalies for evaluation. Our methods can achieve excellent performance better than the existing methods. We also visualize the generated feature distribution with existing methods. The generated abnormal features of the proposed method is better than the existing method with clear boundaries. Okay, thank you for your listening.